In this video, we'll be talking about MHC gene expression. So MHC gene and HLA cluster is a very important topic in USMLE step one. This is a high yield video. So MHC stands for major histocompatibility complex. And there are two categories of MHC, class one MHC, which is found in any nucleated cell and class two MHC, which are found in antigen presenting cells like this dendritic cell. Class 1 and class 2 MHC molecule differs in terms of their structure and type of antigen they display on their surface. For example, class 1 MHC displays endogenous antigen or viral peptides. Every nucleated cell has this. Class 2 MHC displays exogenous antigen that came from outward source, let's say antigen from a bacteria. Now it's also important to note that Class 1 MHC has one long chain and one short chain and class and, and a beta 2 microglobulin is also there. And in case of class 2 MHC, there are two equal length chain, alpha and beta. So basically, these chains are actually encoded by specific genes. So class 1 MHC genes encode these class 1 MHC mRNA that ultimately give rise to this part particular domain-wise structure. Note that beta-2 microglobulin is not expressed by the MHC genes. In contrast, the class 2 MHC is encoded by two different uh, genes, one for alpha chains, one for beta chains. Now, the entire MHC gene is present in chromosome number 6 and it is known as the HLA cluster or human leukocyte antigen cluster. This cluster is around 4000 uh, kilobase pair long and it has different variations of class 2, class 1 and class 3 MHC molecule. It's important to note that MHC genes are highly polymorphic, meaning there is significant genetic diversity within this gene in a population. So this is how the overall cluster look like. This is an oversimplified diagram anyway. So the major uh, players in class 1 MHC is A, B and C and the class 2 MHC is DP, DM and DR. So MHC genes are inherited as linked genes. That means these gene genes in the chromosome are physically located quite uh, close to each other. Due to this physical proximity, recombination is literally not possible. The probability is super low. That is why they are uh, segregated as a unit then the question is how does MHC diversity is achieved if recombination is not happening and MHC diversity is really important because in the world there are diverse set of antigens that need to be presented to the immune system then how it is possible if there is no diversity in MHC MHC diversity exists but how does the gene expression explain this so the answer lies in the polymorphism. MHC genes are highly polymorphic. So polymorphism refers to existence of multiple allelic form of MHC genes within a particular population. So we have to understand this polymorphism is a population level concept, not individual level concept. And these allelic variation result due to small genetic variation in the MHC locus. So question is, where does these genetic variation occurs throughout the MHC domains or any specific location is there? And the peptide sequencing shows the variability in the residues are specifically located in a distinct location. So it's not haphazardly located alpha one, alpha two and alpha three. There are specific locations which are hotspot for polymorphism and it has been shown from extra crystallographic data that these highly polymorphic regions fall in the peptide binding groove of the MHC uh, molecules. That means these changes would determine how MHC would interact with the antigen. And that is super important in context of immune system because pathogens are evolving all the time. They are cr creating diversity. So it's a constant battle with the pathogen, how uh, our body's immune system can also bring in diversity. And this polymorphism is one of the way by which MHC diversity is orchestrated. Another typical factor about MHC allele is its co-dominant expression. That means 
allele from the mother and the father both are active mrna is transcribed from the paternal copy and the maternal copy as well so that so the question is why codominant expression is beneficial because this results in the expression of diverse array of mhc molecules on the cell surface so generally it is another way of increasing the diversity because if only paternal uh, versions are expressed it might not be that diverse so if if you have a combinatorial expression of paternal and maternal copy in different cell types so diversity automatically increases the entire goal of immune system is to create diverse set of mhc molecules now these mhc molecules are important in disease context for example these are important for autoimmune disorders there are different allelic versions of hla uh, clusters let's say hla class 2 mhc molecule has different diverse diverse uh, allelic forms one of them is hla dr4 hla dr4 isoform is very much associated with the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis not only this particular example there are plethora of example which shows specific allelic variants of hla dr dq are associated with the risk of autoimmune disorders now apart from these disease context mhc got its name from tissue grafting experiments so mhc or major histocompatibility complex was named because these set of genes and their product were involved or they determine the compatibility of a graft whether a graft would be rejected or accepted that depends on these gene products and that's why doctors all over the world prefer hla typing before tissue grafting and this ensures that tissue graft is not rejected otherwise there could be detrimental com- consequence of the tissue graft so i hope this video was useful and if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe you can support our channel using super thanks see you in next video